Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Real Housewives of Potomac Season 4 The Reunion Part 3. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you return and you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. I do apologize. Um, my videos this week will be behind schedule. I am moving tomorrow and I don't know when my cable can be hooked up to my new place. Therefore, all the shows I watch, I'm not going to be able to watch and review. So things may be a few days behind schedule. I do apologize. And about my hair. Y'all just going to have to get used to my hair and twist because I'm going to try to make it a go to keep my hair and twist until the end of the year. Just taking it down on Tuesdays and Fridays to co-wash and wa or wash and twist it back up. It only takes me like 30 minutes to do my hair and I've been enjoying just keeping my hair in twist. That way I can just get up and go, give it a good little shake and go on about my business. I'm trying to keep it up with this protective style, just you know, spray it every few days, get some kind of my hair milk from Shea Moisture and just run that through my braids and just keep it going. So y'all just gonna have to get used to these braids. I'm either gonna have a middle part or a side part. But y'all not here to hear about me moving in or hear about my hair. We talking about Real Housewives of Potomac. So the men, they come on stage. And Andy, he asks, you know, tells Juan that, well, Robin said that, you know, she would like for you guys to be married within like a year and a half. And he was like, oh, well, you know, we talked about it, you know, they're in a better place. And the more I look at Juan and see him on screen, I think Juan, Juan just doesn't like being on camera. It's not that, you know, he doesn't want to be with Robin. It's just, it seems to me, because like, Besides Robin and sometimes maybe Giselle, who do we see Juan talking to? Because Juan rarely says anything. He's there and people are talking to him, but you never really see him talking. And I just think he don't like being on camera. He don't like talking on camera. That's just not his gig. Because all the other husbands, you know, they're very vocal and all that stuff. But Juan, he's more of a laid back. He ain't trying to be in all no mess and he ain't really all that talking. But he says they're in a better place and, you know, maybe you're going to have how they may be together so I'm like okay hands of who wants Robin and Juan to get married and like almost everybody raised their hand but Michael but Michael says you know whatever Juan wants to do that's cool and I'm like what? what do you mean that's cool he's gonna do it besides that but anyway but like the comment you made I was thinking you didn't want Juan to be married but hey they didn't get to bring that up because some other mess came up now Andy clarifies that they were wrong that the when we seen that you know unseen footage of Michael it was you know the first one when he walked past the cameraman and the camera was like hey don't do that and he was like okay okay and then we seen a second footage of him and that person was saying um, you touched my butt you touched my butt and he was like I buy you a drink well the first clip it was they said cameraman says this and the second clip said cameraman said this the second clip that wasn't the cameraman and he does apologize that was a bad it wasn't the cameraman that said that it was somebody else well michael says it was monique's cousin and you know they be doing i guess they do that all the time and it was a ha ha kiki moment but monique said when she asked her cousin he's like no we just not out here just grabbing and patting each other booties that's far from what happened so i was like i don't know whose else booty he was grabbing because that was basically the topic of the whole you know episode so he they um andy wants michael to clarify what happened but instead of clarifying what happened he goes in on the ladies he's like wait a minute He's talking about how the girls are so un unbelievable and they should be ashamed of themselves because they have spent this whole entire season talking about him grabbing booties and doing everything else. He says that he wasn't charged in grabbing the cameraman's booty. It was a claim made, but Ashley said the charges were dropped and you said that the charges were dropped. So why are you now saying it was no charges that the claim was this, you know, the claim was dismissed. He wasn't really making sense. Then he goes on to say that that whole incident with Andrew, he didn't grab Andrew's butt. He patted, well, he didn't grab Andrew's butt. He patted his butt. 
And that's what friends do. And no, my friends don't go around just grabbing and or patting my behind. And he makes it seem like, you know, in Australia, that's in Australia, that's what we do. We go around and pat each other's butt. And then he tried to bring in it. in sports. They do that. I'm like, yes, they do that in sports. But that's what they teammates. You did not know, Andrew. And you make it seem like we go back like four fights on the cat. Like, no, you grabbed that man's behind. Because if you pat and hand goes like it and comes back, you was up there for a good minute. And Ashley, she stated like, yep, that's what happened. That's what happened. I'm like, all these people can't be saying these things about you. Like, the pat was bad enough. And then we had this cameraman. And then apparently it was some uh, some of the producers. They said things has happened to them. And it's like, but... He is sticking to this, I bumped into the cameraman. And that was it. And Chris says, well, your normal reaction if you bump into somebody is like, oh, I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But the camera was like, don't do that. Like, don't be over here grabbing my booty. Don't do those type of things. But, you know, you say, excuse me, I'm sorry when you bump into somebody. If you did something disrespectful, then they say, don't do that. And then Andy was about to go on what happened at Uncle Lump's party. But then Chris was like, well, since you're talking about that and I'm crazy because I think that it's normal that if you bump into somebody, you say, excuse me, sorry. But the same cameraman, when they was at Uncle Lump's party, he came between, the cameraman came between them two and he grabbed his butt. And people from the, um, um, he grabbed his butt at Uncle Lump's party. The ca cameraman turned to Michael and gave him a death stare like, bruh, if you touch me one more time, your teeth is going down your throat. And then Chris gets a call from the HR department asking him if he saw things. So, you know, yo, what you've been over doing, you didn't brought me into it because I just happened to be standing next to you. So now that's further making me realize why. Now, Candace was wrong because she was putting 20 on 10. But why she felt that, like, something wasn't right in Ashley and Michael's relationship. Like, are you really trying to have a baby with this man when he been out here grabbing booties and saying he want to do these type of things to wine? Like, is this, are you really trying to do this? But she, she, she added extraness to it where it wasn't necessary. Now Michael talking about some he should have pressed charges on Candace for pulling the wife uh, pulling a knife on Ashley and she was like she was trespassing. Once I told her to leave and she didn't, that was trespassing. Now I cannot remember if she pulled the knife after Ashley had came back in because technically if I didn't told you to leave and you left you didn't came back into my house, you are trespassing. She's like she was trespassing. I told her to leave, she didn't, therefore she was trespassing. Now, then Ray brings up, well, you did tell Juan that you wanted to grab my butt. And I was like, Ray, you were absolutely right. I don't remember where they were at, but he was, Michael was saying how, you know, he, you know, was able to control himself and he didn't go out here and grab Ray's butt. And then you didn't say I didn't go out here and pat Ray's butt. You said I didn't go out here and grab Ray's butt. So, yeah. Okay, my notes is, okay. Well, this is when Karen says, I do believe that you 101%, 101% believe that Michael didn't do that. And that's what's scary. And I was like, yeah, like all these things that have been happening. Now, of course, we could be, they could be just like, okay, asking to did something like, okay, it's just your turn to be getting drilled through the ringer. That's not the word I'm looking for. You know, this it's your turn, Ashley. We're just going to drag you through the mud, you and Michael. It possibly can be that, but, like, the fact that he had already grabbed on Andrews, but now it's like, we've seen you do this before. Like, what else are you doing? And then she was like, well, you, was, um, you didn't like it when people were out here saying that you was cheating with blue eyes. I was like, Michael alleged to have grabbed a butt and you don't want her bringing anybody bringing that up but you know, 
Karen potentially was alleged to have been cheating. I like at this point she was deflecting, and Karen like, yeah, you're deflecting this time. You want to bring up that you think you saw or you said that you saw me doing this. Ashley had been very mean and very nasty the whole time she has been on the show, and it's just that now she's getting her karma. Now, I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody. I don't wish harm on Ashley. I just don't like the girl. And it's like, it's hard to say if Michael did this or not because the story is changed. And he's saying now I wasn't charged. It's just, you know, allegations were claimed and all this other stuff. It, it was just a lot. So, yeah, that was just, I've been on here 10 minutes. I guess that was long enough to talk about something. But it's just like... Candace and Seth and Chris was basically like, well, I was brought into this because I was standing there. I didn't see anything happen, but that doesn't mean anything happened because I could have been looking over there when you was, you know, grab this man's behind. This same cameraman that you uh, were alleged to grab him behind at Monique's little situation she had going on. Her um, rainbow party, I believe it was. So... It just didn't look good for Michael. Ashley, she stayed and defended him, but I guess that's your husband. Like, but like, it's so many things that was happening. Like, it didn't look good for them. So, y'all, that was a just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free ninety nine. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face puts up a video, you can click on it, you can like it, you can share it with your people. If you're returning, you're a family member, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.